Hello viewers, electricity is an essential for electrical and electronic appliances to function. Imagine if we touch a live wire in which the electricity is passing, which is more dangerous to us, current or voltage and what is the direct current and alternating current? Let's discuss in this video. If you like this, please subscribe to Science Collector. Usually, electricity needs a conducting material to pass through it. When an electricity is passed through a wire, there will be a flow of electrons. This flow of electrons is known as the current and the unit to measure the current is ampere. And the force in which the electrons are pushed forward is known as the voltage. If the force is more, we can call it as high voltage and if the force is less, we can call it as low voltage. If we consider a closed circuit and if we want to find the number of electrons flowing through the closed circuit, we use ammeter. And if we want to find the how much force is pushing the electrons, there is a device called voltmeter through which the voltage can be found out. Usually the current is divided into two forms. Direct current is a one directional current in which the current and voltage is uniform. If we consider the alternating current by the name, it can be understood that the alternating current has variable current and voltage that is we can change the current and voltage let's find out which is more dangerous the voltage or a current first we consider low voltage and low current is passing through a copper wire and if we are touching it what will happen as the current and voltage is very less if we touch a live wire with low voltage and low current there is a no harm to us we may feel a little shock the second case is high current and low voltage if the electrons are more in a copper wire but the force which is pushing the electrons is very less that electrons will not harm us so minimum of electrons will pass through our body and we feel some little shock the third case is low current but high voltage so what will happen there are few electrons passing through a conducting wire but the force which is pushing the electrons is very high let's say 230 volts it will definitely cause an injury to us why because even though it is a few electrons the force which pushes the electrons causes the electrons to flow inside our body so this may harm our body but not that much and the final condition is high current and high voltage this is more critical than the earlier cases why because the electrons is also more and the force which is pushing the electrons that is the voltage is very high so if we touch a live wire which has a high current and high voltage cause severe damage it may also leads to death from the four cases we can conclude that voltage is more dangerous than the current so be careful while handling the electrical and electronic equipments so if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends to gain more knowledge and finally thank you for watching